Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Sturge here and here back on the Tunnel 11. And today I'm going to be unlocking the Grand Warden ability here on the Tunnel 11. Right now he is at level 1 as we unlocked him in the last episode. And it shouldn't be too hard to get him up to that level as it is probably only around 12 million elixir to get him to that level. So we're going to be using the mass miners down in the army camps for today's attacks to get all of that loot on the base. And let's start off today's video by heading over to the progress base so we can start off by actually upgrading the Grand Warden up to level two since we already have enough elixir and before we do that we're going to actually upgrade the level one walls we got from the town hall upgrade so we're going to upgrade these up to a certain level i'm not sure how far we're going to get these in today's video get them up to level five there and that is going to do it for that upgrade it looks like as we have no more gold or not enough gold to upgrade that up to level seven so we're just going to leave that for now upgrade those walls a little later but upgrading the grand warden up to level two 2.025 million elixir and a three and a half hour time for this upgrade here and we're going to actually use a bunch of the builder potions that i've been saving up while being max town hall 10 so we're going to actually use four or five of these i'll probably just use all of them and i'll come back periodically and upgrade the grand warden up to the next level so in probably around 20 to 15 minutes the grand warden should be up to level two so we can then upgrade him up to level three afterwards so we'll come back once that is finished and we got the warden finishing up here in around 20 seconds and we're going to be upgrading it immediately after up to level three we already have enough elixir so we're just going to immediately get it up to the next level here 2.25 million elixir for this one here going up to level three in a seven hour 10 minute time but we still have those builder potions still up and available on the base for the next around four and a half hours so letting this run it should be done in the next half hour but you guys will see it in the next few seconds I actually decided to do a couple of attacks where we wait for the warden to finish up to level three we found this tunnel 10 with around 500,000 of each and we're using the mass miners just going to drop a bunch of them around the outside of the base just to get some of these loop buildings out of the way and hopefully get the 50 percent so we can get the loop bonus or the uh, the star bonus as it is four times for the next few days so we're going to continue getting the 50 percent on this base we have some more dark elixir on the left side and towards the bottom we'll drop that there we'll heal them towards the bottom to get these guys and take them down or to take the drills down to get the 50 percent here as well we should easily get it we also have the king we can drop at the very top of the base and we use his ability to get the 50 percent we are running low on troops here we have the king gonna break through the wall at the very top of the base all we need is three percent and we should be able to get it with the king here i'm gonna actually drop a free spell just to uh, let the king take down these last few buildings and we're going to drop a heal spell just to keep them up a little bit longer only need two percent left and we should hopefully take it down the enemy queen's coming over so we'll just take down the king there and we should probably just use the uh battle blimp i guess heading towards the town hall it should make it there so we're going to get a two star on this one and they have some uh, sneaky goblins inside of there getting that 50 percent the town hall will go down to the goblins and we'll get a two star on that one so we get around 500,000 of each for a quick little attack using the mass miners let's head on to another couple of attacks we found another base tunnel 10 with another 400,000 of each trying to go for another star bonus as we have two available we already got the first one and now we're gonna go for the other one and we're just gonna try to snipe out this uh, storage over here drop in a couple more miners for that and then we'll drop a bunch more to head in towards the storage here and take that down. We'll drop the rest of the miners down at the bottom right of the base with the rest of these miners. And the king, I'm not sure we're going to use him probably towards the bottom to head up towards the storage up here. We're going to heal these guys up into the core of the base. The miners are still up on the left side as well, which is pretty good. So it looks like we could honestly get a three star on this one. And luckily the expos are down in the core of the base. Gonna drop another heal to heal these guys back up, getting that first star. Hopefully we can get a three star on this one here. Poisoning those skeletons on the right side of the base. King is attacking the last storage for the elixir. Going to heal through the core, healing everything back up to full health. Gonna use the king's ability here eventually after taking down those skeletons. And we got the second star from the uh, town hall, which is pretty good. Going to use the king's ability and hitting him towards the top of the base. One more heal spell left to use. And we are going to use it at the very top to heal everything 
back up to full health. It looks like we already get a three star on this tunnel 10. And we should get most of the loot. Getting 28 trophies, even though we aren't really pushing. We are farming right now. We have a minute and 20 seconds left in the raid. And we're going to speed up the attack. Getting the rest of the buildings to get this three star on this tunnel 10. And we got all of these miners heading over. Very overkill for this attack. But we still get the three star for 400,000 of each. And an extra 200,000 from the loot bonus. We'll head back to the base and see how much time the warden has left. And he has three hours left in the upgrade, but he probably has around another 15 minutes left in the upgrade. So we'll come back once that is finished and we'll upgrade him once again. And after around 40 minutes of upgrading, the Warden is about to finish up to level 3, which means we can get up to level 4. We actually did a couple of attacks as you saw earlier in the video, and we're going to actually collect the loot we got from the treasury because we got the star bonus. We have one more available on the base here. As you see here, we get 2.48 million of each. So we're going to actually collect this or else it would have actually filled up if we got the next one. We're up to 5 million gold on the base now. So we're going to actually upgrade a bunch more of these walls up to their next level. And I think we can get it up to level 8 here, which is pretty good. I think 2 or 3 more levels and then they are paired up with the other ones. We have 4 million elixir on the base now. So we're going to get the warden up to level 4. 2.3 million elixir in a 10 hour time. We have the bullet potions already working. Working. So in around an hour, this will be completed up to level 4, and then we can get it up to level 5, unlocking the ability. While I wait for the Warden to finish up to level 4, we're going to do one more attack to get the last star bonus of the day on this tunnel 11 with 800,000 gold. We have some inside of the collector down at the bottom that we're going to take out with a couple of the Myers. Those should take it down. We can drop one more for that mine on the left. And I think we have some other mines around the base in the top left, where the main push is going to be towards the top left of the base. Going to, yeah, we're just going to drop the rest of them at the very top left. Uh, creating a funnel using two of the miners, and then we'll drop the rest of the miners at the top left. And then we'll drop some heal spells and stuff to help these guys head into the base. We're going to heal the ones that are targeted by the Eagle Artillery, and heal them back up to full health. We have some more on the left. A giant bomb goes off. I think that was a giant, uh, the, the bomb tower. I'm not too sure. Drop a rage spell and a poison on the enemy queen. Going to heal the miners up through the core of the base. We took out most of the storages at the top left of the base. We're going to drop the blimp inside the, uh, the core of the base. And we'll hopefully take down the town hall for a star. We need a star to get the star bonus on the base. We'll heal these guys in the core. And hopefully these guys can head over to the town hall and take it down. We have a P.E.K.K.A. instead of there, but it is actually targeted by the single target in front of towers. So it looks like we need to drop the King to actually take down the uh, rest of the buildings to get the 50%. Hopefully we can do it. I'm not too sure how to use miners. I'm really new to it. I haven't attacked using miners in a very long time. So... Hopefully I can get a little bit better as I use this army. I'm going to use the King's ability once the Eagle starts hitting the King. And then we will use it right now. I kind of use it a little bit early, but it's, it's just fine. We'll just drop the uh, last two buildings and get the 50% and then head out for the uh, last couple of uh, upgrades on the base. Getting a bonus for the loot bonus as well, which is pretty good. But getting the last star for the star bonus we come back to the base and there we go getting 2.4 million of each and 10,000 dark elixir almost filling up on our dark elixir so we're probably going to upgrade the king at the end of the video once we get the warden up to level 5 and we got the warden finishing up to level 4 one more level before the ability is unlocked so we're going to actually head over back over to the clan castle because of the star bonus we got from the last attack bring our elixir up to 4.5 and to bring it up to level 5, it is 2.55 million elixir. And we're going to actually upgrade that right now. But I'm going to see what other stuff I can upgrade. Uh, we can upgrade some of the walls using the elixir, which I might actually do. We'll bring that wall over and we'll select these and upgrade all of those up to level 9. And we'll save the rest of the level 8 walls to level 9 eventually here in the next couple of episodes. But getting the Warden up to level 5 for 2.55 million and 20 hours for this upgrade. But we still have those Builder Potions up and running for the next 3 hours. So that should finish within the next 2 hours. So we'll come back 
once that is finished and we'll get the warden up to level five and unlocking the ability and we're back and the warden is about to get completed up to level five unlocking the ability and we're going to be unlocking some other stuff or upgrading some other stuff here on the base once this finishes and there we go the warden is now level 10 that is because of the five plus level uh, hero boost for the next few days but he is actually at level 10 we still have a bunch of Dark Elixir left on the base that I want to use. So I'm going to be upgrading the King for the final upgrade of the day. A bunch of hero upgrades for today's video and walls as well. But an 89,000 Dark Elixir upgrade for this in a 5 day time. And there we go, getting that up to level 41. We still have around an hour left for the uh, builder boost here. About 50 minutes left so that'll be around 10 hours down for both of these upgrades for the heroes. I want to get the king and the queen max as fast as possible. Basically all the heroes max as fast as possible so we can do different farming armies with the heroes involved with those. But we have all five builders available and the laboratory still going. Actually before we end off I'm going to do a couple of these resource potions, probably about three of those, getting that minor upgrade finished so we can get something else going inside of there. But other than that, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did want to see some more Tunnel 11 or any Clash of Clans related content on my channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.